This is CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 1, number 139. So here we're asked to factor each expression completely. Okay, so let's look at A. Part A, we have A minus 3 squared minus A minus 3. So we have some expression minus some other expression. Well, if you see in these expressions, we could take out an A minus 3 from both of them. If we divide this side by A minus 3, we get 1 left over. If we divide this side by a minus 3, we get a minus 3 left over. It just loses the square. So this is the same thing as dividing out a minus 3, right? We're going to divide that out, and we get, here we get just a minus 3 without the exponent, minus, and here when we divide it out, we just get 1, right? So now let's just simplify this. We have a minus 3 outside here. And a minus 3 minus 1, well, we can combine the 3 and the 1, the negative 3 and the negative 1, to be a minus 4. Okay? So this right here is the factored expression. And we cannot reduce, reduce this anymore, and we're done. Okay? So the important thing is to look at both expressions and see can we pull anything out of them okay and we could okay so here we have in part b we have the expression 5x times x minus 3 minus 4 times 3 minus x okay so let's look and see can we, looking at this expression and this expression is there anything that is the same in both of them well not right away right Nothing looks the same to me. But if you notice, this and this over here are the same, but they're just flipped around, right? Well, if we factored out a negative 1 from this one, right? if we factored out a negative 1, that would make this 3 a negative and this x a positive, And that would make this the same as x minus 3, right? x minus 3. So let's do that. 5x times x minus 3 minus 4, and let's factor out a negative 1, and then we get negative 3 plus x, or x minus 3. Okay? So now we have, in both terms, we look at them, we have an x minus 3 here and an x minus 3 here, so we can divide both by x minus 3, right? So if we do that, we're going to have to be multiplying, okay, so we, if we take out x minus 3, what are we left with? I'm going to use brackets here, same thing as parentheses, but just makes it bigger. So we're left with just 5x in our first term, and over here we're left with 4 times negative 1, right? So let's just simplify this. We have x minus 3, and 5x minus 4 times negative 1. Well, if we multiply these, this becomes positive, so it's going to be 5x plus 4, okay? Now, let's look at this. Can we simplify it anymore? Um, no, we cannot. There's nothing else we can divide out, okay? So this is the factored expression for part B. All right, so this ends CPM Pre-Calculus Chapter 1, number 139.